Praise the Lord. Are you blocking your blessings? All of us would want our blessings, right? So first we need to understand that how does our behavior, our mannerisms, how does this pose as a block to our blessings? To unblock the blessings, you first need to understand how can the blessings be blocked? What are we doing that causes the blessings not to reach us or is stopping us from receiving them? This, I think, is very, very important to understand. The Bible says that do to others like you would want them to do to you. God has said, Forgive others their trespasses, or the Lord will not forgive us our trespasses, right? There are certain behavioral patterns or characteristics that we possess because of which we are not able to receive our blessings. All of us want our blessings. There is not a single person who does not want to be blessed. Be it whatever they are asking for. So, when you do not forgive someone, you are blocking your blessing. I'm going to just list out a few things and this would give you a gist of how we're not able to receive what we're asking for in prayer. Because there are certain flaws or certain shortcomings in us which we are either deliberately or innocently overlooking. So it's essential that you take a look at these points, listen to them. And make the necessary changes if you think change is needed. So, when you don't forgive someone, you are blocking yourself from the blessings the Lord has in store for you. When you remain angry, when you are constantly worrying about who is saying what, when you are comparing yourself to other people or vice versa, when you are living in the past with all those bitter memories, bitter thoughts, bitter things, what people spoke to you, what they did. Yes, sometimes it's very difficult to forgive. I totally agree. And I will give my testimony very soon about how I had to forgive what kind of people who were really ruthless and brutal in due course of time. Well, coming back to the point, it is very essential that you do not keep your heart heavy with all these bitter, painful, all ill feelings in it. You release the pain. Release the pain so that you yourself are released from a lot of emotional baggage you've been carrying since years. Jesus went on the cross. He took up all our infirmities so that we would live a happy life, healthy life, peaceful life, at ease, being a blessing to others, helping others. But, unfortunately, what's happening everywhere around the world today? What's happening in so many churches nowadays? It's just the opposite. Well, you start by bringing about a change in yourself. We are the light, right? So when you let go of all these bad, unnecessary, hurtful, painful thoughts, feelings that you've been clinging on to for so long, it could just be yesterday, it could be years ago, it could be since your childhood, it could be anything. Let go of it. Ask Jesus to touch you, to touch your heart, to help you forgive. Pray to the Lord to help you overcome these obstacles in the path of your blessing. Ask the Lord for guidance. Ask the Lord for strength. You need strength here. You cannot do it on your own. You need the Lord's strength to overcome these things. Thank Him in advance and believe. You need to believe and keep believing that 
you are free from all the pain you are free from sicknesses you are free from hurt you're free from trauma you're free from sadness you are free from all the bad evil ill things that satan has purposely planted in your heart and mind so as to block you from progressing in prayer from receiving your blessings from witnessing miracles in your life from doing the impossible through god the lord every time someone tends to hurt you cheat on you backstab you make you feel useless unworthy be it anyone anyone close far whoever it is whoever it is whatever it is just remember jesus is with you he's always with you he's much closer to you than you can think or even imagine so the moment these bad and eerie or unpleasant feelings start settling into your heart stop it from settling into your heart stop it there and then that very second do not let it grow do not let it make a house in your heart and mind because that's when you're giving satan all the liberty to mess with your head your life your feelings your day your work your health everything and it's just not worth it so it's really essential that the moment these unpleasant wrong feelings creep in rebuke it then and there do not let them grow on you do not let them make a house in your heart and mind but rebuke it or just pray call out to the lord he does hear our cry he always does he knows everything that's in our heart everything that we want everything that we need even before we can think of it so these are just a few things that you really need to take care of and as i've always said that spend time in prayer spend time in bible reading if you do not understand something let that be circle it till you're guided by the holy spirit and it's revealed to you or a source is revealed to you th- or through which you can understand that particular verse or chapter stay in faith let your faith soar let your faith grow have unwavering faith and alongside shape up and mold yourself into a much better person become like jesus become like jesus amen hallelujah god bless